Uh, today is February 16, 2018, and this is your daily blog number 38. Today I'm going to go ahead and cover my profit trailer settings once more, but much more in depth. This is based upon all the comments I've received about my video a couple days ago, and everyone's really curious about all the settings, and they actually really want to learn what's going on. And I got a lot of subscribers off that video, so what I'm going to do today for you is to go over all my settings and go in detail what those settings mean. And I think that could be useful for a lot of people out there. Uh, second, if you want my profit trailer settings, there's a link down below. So go go get it, go test it out. But keep in mind, these are my settings. I used it for a week, they look okay, but they could easily not make you money as well, okay? Please use it on your own uh, discretion. You guys know what dust values are. I covered it last video. I need this much in BTC value for me to trade it, okay? Uh, limitation from Binance. Binance says, hey, you need at least $20 in a token to trade it. Test mode here equals false. If you set this to true, it's actually really nice when you're uh, putting on new settings. You will notice when your bot actually does a purchase, uh, but you will only see it in the logs. You will not see it here, okay? You only see it in the logs, and you know, the logs will pop up and buy buy, and it will be in the commandlet window. So let me go ahead and talk about my buy strategy. I'm not going to talk about uh, simple moving average or bullish or bounce, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about EME spread and my EME 1 and 2. So slow moving average and fast moving average and my EME period of five minutes. Uh, this, I think this is something that you guys all really need to learn. Um, if you're using profit trailer, you need to be able to chart it. Okay, and it's not that difficult. Uh, so I, I went ahead and charted one real quick so I could uh, easily describe the issue to you. So the first thing you wanna do is, I wanna set this to five minute candles. And in indicators, you wanna do uh, moving averages, uh, but exponential moving average averages. So add those two. Um, when you configure these two EME, uh, EMA uh, Averages, go ahead in the inputs, change one to the 24, that means 24 days. And I, I mean, I made the style, I made the line thick and a different color. Uh, the same, the fast moving average, same thing. Inputs, change it to 10. And this is my pink one here. And again, I went to style, change the color. These, this represents how, this represents what Profit Trailer is doing visually, okay? And how it's going to do the buy. All right, so that's my indicators. Let's go to the pairs real quick. So let's just talk about my buy strategy real fast. My my strategy is the difference between the two lines. My buy strategy states that it needs to be at least negative. It needs to have a difference of 0.6, okay? And I'll trail it for two, all right? So let me go ahead and show you what that uh, means. So I'm going to go to my IOTA that I set up in my chart, and I really couldn't find too much, but look at these numbers here, all these numbers. This is the difference between the two lines, okay? So all these percentage numbers you're looking at is the difference between the two lines. What, where my bot starts trailing it and starts looking at it to a purchase is when it starts hitting 0 0.65, right? This is 0 0.65, 0 0.65, 0 0.65. It's greater than 0.65 across the board here. Now, in one of these numbers, I'm at 1%, a full 1% negative. Not 0.6, but a full negative 1%. I'm going to trail it for two. So from here, because this is the largest number, I will buy at 0.8 when the percentages turn into 0.8. So let me see if I could zoom in here. Uh, can I spread this out a little bit? Um, no, I can't spread this out too much. But in these numbers, I'm looking for 0.8. Oh, there it is, 0.8. About closest to 0.8 as possible, because if you notice, it was uh, negative one. So it might have bought, my bot would definitely buy here. It went all the way to a negative one, and then it retraced back by 0.2%. And that's what triggers the buy, uh, bot to buy. So let me just write this in notepad, so it's just a little bit easier for you guys to understand. Bot starts trailing at 0. Let's just make it simple. 0. 0.6, all right? The difference between the two lines, even though it's negative, I'm just going to say the difference between the two lines um, has to be 0. 0.6, all right? It needs to at least, so it went all the way up to 1%, the difference between the two lines, and then it went back down to 0. 0.8. My bot does a buy here because of my trailing buy. Oops, trailing buy. 
of 0.2. All right, trailing by, so it has to uh, come back up by that percentage. So here's another situation. It starts at 0.6, my bot will only kick off after 0.6. It goes to negative 1.5%. For Let's say, for example, it goes all the way to negative 1.5. The difference in the two lines is like selling like crazy. So the difference between the two lines is greater. Then it comes back to 1.3. My bot would buy there. Okay. Trailing buy. My 0.2. When I have my trailing buy, I'm 0.2. Uh, here's another interesting scenario. I go to 0.6. I go to 1.5. I go down to 1.4. My bot will not buy because the difference was not 0.2. It needs to come back up to 0.2 again. Same thing goes. Let's go even further. I go 1.6. I go to 1.5. I go to 1.4 to 2. And then I hit 1.8. This is where I buy. So it establishes a new max every time. Okay. This is my new max. This was my max. But you know, it didn't. Uh, it didn't go down 0.2 from it from the max. And these are all in negative numbers too, right? So that's the difference. That's what I'm talking about in these lines. And that's how my EME strategy works. Now, if you look here, my bot, based upon the strategy, I don't know if I would have made money, okay? Because after I buy, about roughly four hours or so, maybe yeah, maybe five hours. It might have sold it there. I mean, it could have technically purchased it somewhere in here too, right? And my bot might have. That's definitely more than 1%, so 1.4%. Here's the 1.04%, and let me go ahead and show you what I mean about when I sell it. So we just talked about how I do the buy. Here's how I do the sell. So if you look here, my sell strategy is at a gain at 1%. Okay, and we talked about trailing just moments ago, and I'll just go over it once more and pretty briefly on this one. Let's say it gains 1%, right? I have a trailing of 0.35. So let's say it goes to 1.5%, right? If it drops back down to 1.25%, or excuse me, 1.15%, it will sell here based on the trailing buy. All right, let's do another situation. Again, this is uh, this is profit trailer, so this is one of the key elements behind profit trailer. Let's do one percent. It goes to one point five percent. It goes to one point two percent. Right. The difference here is only three percent or point three percent. So it doesn't meet my criteria. It has to reach point three five. Soars back up to 2% and then drops down to 1.65%. And this is where my bot sells. All right. Based upon the trailing uh, trailing profit of 0.35. So what this allows you to do is to sort of look at the trend a little bit. If it's heading up, is if it's going bullish and it's going gonna, it's gonna to follow it. Max pairs, uh, we could go ahead and cover that real quick. Uh, max pairs is how many pairs I'm holding right now. And that's a question that was asked in my video. So here is six pairs. And DC means bags. At, and they're doing dollar cost averaging. So I got six plus two. That means my bot could technically buy two more things right now. Okay. Um, it must have sold something just recently. Um, so I could look at, is my bot finding anything to buy? My bot can't find anything to buy right now. Okay. Because it will be saying trailing. But there's nothing that's on sale. And it's pretty uh, pretty average at the moment. So this is sometimes where I come in and adjust my settings once more. Min buy volume is how much volume the token has. So let me have Binance open on the side. The token has to have at least 350 to, uh, for me for my bot to consider. If it's below 350, so Wabi, Waves, Salt, Chat, I, yeah, these are actually good coins. I might actually reduce this value. Max buy spread is 1.5%. So the difference between the two t tokens or the two prices, the sell and the buy price.
cannot be a difference more than 1.5% because anything that has a difference of more than 1.5% is normally is a huge pump going upwards and then it's probably going to dump down uh, later down the road and you're you don't really your bot you don't really want to have your bot buy into those things minimum buy price um, I personally I should really get rid of this but I'll go ahead and show what that means because I this value is set so low I'm only um, protecting myself to nothing actually so let me go ahead here uh, price it needs to be at a minimum of 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. All max cost, this is the default. I highly don't recommend you changing it unless you have a huge bankroll. Um, so every purchase will be about $22. Okay, the initial purchase. You wanna stay as, uh, you wanna be as close to the minimum trade that Binance offers. So you don't wanna exceed that. I feel like the best strategy behind Profit Trailer is to have as many pairs as possible and try to rotate through those pairs as much as you can with the smallest amount possible. I would just increase the pair amount, okay? So I'll increase this to 20, 30, 40, 50, et cetera. Some of these settings are pretty simple. Uh, market, a, a trading, uh, allow all pairs. Panic sell, sell everything, Liquid, liquidate everything. Something, something's really going wrong with your bot. Just liquidate everything, um, or the market's going crazy, or you know someone's after you, and you need to make sure you liquidate. Binance is going to get hacked, so I need to liquidate everything and put in a PTC and transfer it to my wallet. Set this to true, and everything will be on sold. Everything will be sold right at the spot. It's going to keep trying to sell it until it can't. So panic sell. Sell only mode is a good feature. Um, if you feel like the market's just not doing so well, or it's just going crazy and you don't feel comfortable having your bot purchase anything, just put this to true. And the only thing your bot will do is try to just sell. It will not buy every, anything. It will ignore every, all the other settings and only try to sell. Notice these two settings here are very similar. BNB BTC underscore trading enabled equal false. I don't want my bot trading that pair specifically, but all other pairs are okay. The reason why I have this setting is because I'm using this for fees, all right? So uh, I don't want my bot buying BNB, or more or less, I don't want my bot selling BNB. I don't mind it buying BNB, to be honest, but I don't want it to sell BNB ever because I'm using it for my fees. Some of these other settings here, if you look at anything that has all in front, you could actually mix it up with the pair specifically. So I just recently did this. Uh, you see this all max cost. Remember I just said it was $20. And I'm going to go to the two coins I'm really shilling for, ETH and NEO. And for ETH, I say don't buy just $20 worth. I want it to buy $5 worth. So this is a way you could customize your settings. And the same thing goes with NEO. So I'm going to say, hey, NEO, uh, BTC pair, buy a $50 worth instead of $20 worth. So you could do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and save these settings on that. I have set my DCA at negative 3%. So if my pairs, if any of the, so I it just recently bought Nano, and if Nano turns into negative 3%, it's going to move it into the DCA log. Okay. And in the DCA log, I have also set anything in DCA, okay, is now has these settings. If it is at negative 3%, I'm going to double down on the coin. Also, my sell value is changes. So now it turned into a bag. I want to get rid of it. So I want to sell it quicker. So I sell that if it gains by 0.3%. Not a full 1% anymore, just like my pairs, because I made a bad call. The bot, I don't like the bot, how I bought it because it became a bag. I wanted to sell it quicker. And again, trailing by of 0.15%. A DCA is at negative 3%, 5%, 7%, 9%, 9%. Also, it has a trailing associated with it. I think that covers everything about my profit trailer. Um, hopefully, you guys learned something. If I missed anything, feel free to give me a comment down below, and I'll try to cover it on my next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and thumbs up. Okay, got it. No, it didn't record. It did. No, it didn't. It's recording the whole time.